Good morning and happy April Fool's Day, members of the resistance. I want to give a shout out to you guys. I hope everybody had a fantastic holiday. I hope you didn't go too far off the ledge, uh, but in the same breath, I hope you had a nice time with family and friends. You know, um, Tony Horton even has a policy that you can have a little of the bad stuff, and I hope that's the way you guys think. I hope you're not just doing everything day by day by day by day by day by day, just eating only the good and proper and you know perfect stuff, because if you are, that's good, but you're kind of missing out on uh, the enjoyment of having fun with others. And what you what you really want to do is you want to just set yourself up so that you're following my golden rule. And that golden rule is that one bad meal won't ruin a lifetime of good nutrition, just like one really good meal won't help a lifetime of poor nutrition. So if you guys fell off the uh, bandwagon, if you cracked your Easter egg yesterday and you had a pretty, you know, not so great day in terms of what you ate and calorie intake, don't sweat it. Fall forward. If you fall forward, you're still moving forward. Just look in front of you and keep going that way. Chalk it up as a great day yesterday with family and friends and just keep charging ahead. You've got to do everything you can to get from here to the end of your life in the most spit shine, healthiest manner possible. We're all vessels of, um, you know, flesh and blood. We're mortal. We can't do everything perfectly. But what we can do is we can get up each day, shake the dust off ourselves, you know, rise and just say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do much better this day. I'm going to go forward. I'm never going to give up. I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to quit. And if I fall, I'm going to get right back up and get back in the game. And that's what all of you have to do. Don't worry about the results of other people. If you see somebody else in our group is looking all buff and tough and rough and muck, you just focus on yourself. You worry about your own nutrition. <clears throat> if somebody else is doing a certain diet and you're not sure if that diet works for you, reach out to me. Maybe I can point you in a direction where you can go get some facts about that diet and see if it's good for you. Or, more importantly, check with your doctor. But at the end of the game, remember, nutrition is about 85% of the battle when you are doing these programs. Um, you know, that, that pretty much means that what you're eating is more important sometimes than, than the way you're working out. But every program that we ever use comes with a nutrition guide. If you don't understand it, just let me know, and I'll try and help you. I really want you guys to get the best results possible. Now, I want to talk a little bit about this contest for this week. It's just it's just a little silly contest, kind of to spur things up a bit. It's the April Fool's Contest, and what I want anyone to do who wishes to participate in this contest is you've got to make two posts, and those posts have to be at separate times of the day or together. It doesn't matter, but you can either make a post, or you can post a video, or you can post a photograph, with some text, but you want to make one post that's you seriously doing your best with your workout, giving it your all, something about what you did, the way you moved forward, the way you did this many of that, and, and you, you you brought it, or you dug deep, or whatever, and you really rocked it on. The second one, I want you to have a little fun. I want you to be a little silly. I want you to totally lie. I want you to make up something. I want you to make up some BS. I want you to say something like, yeah, I just did a you know, 25 clap push-ups on my fingers and I feel awesome. I'm going to drink uh, six gallons of protein, whatever. That's a bad example, but the idea is at the end of today, at midnight tonight, when, when Monday becomes Tuesday, Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to take the next few days to go through the posts that were made and I'm going to try and pick a winner in terms of who tried the hardest but at the same time, who was the most creative? So you've got to be, you've got to be serious about your workouts, and you've got to be a little creative. So this is your chance. You might, you might shine more on the creative side, and you might win. It's tr I'm trying to make this fair for everybody. And the prize is going to be a great T-shirt from Team Beachbody, and it could be one of the T-shirts from the shop section, or I'll show you a spread of T-shirts that's available only to coaches. Only coaches. Only coaches get certain clothes with special. It's in the Team Beachbody Mall, and it will be a, a t-shirt of any sort that's within the $20 or lower bracket. So, you guys have an awesome day. I want everyone rocking it. We've got nearly 500 people in this group, and some of you are missing, and you need to come back. You need to stop being wallflowers. You need to stop telling me things like, well, I'm too busy to post, and then I go see on your personal wall that you're making uh, ice cream sundaes for the neighbors and yourselves. So, 
have a great day, guys. I'm, I'm breaking your horns because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be your coach. I'm supposed to be your friend. I'm supposed to be your buddy. I'm supposed to be your motivator. But I have to be your Dutch uncle. I have to be the guy that just pushes you to the point where you want to kill me. I have to be the person who's going to tell you everything that you don't want to hear because I'm going to give you a wake-up call. When you're not doing so well, your friends and family might say, oh, you look fine. You look good. You look at you're 35. Who cares? Yeah, you're fine. You know what? You had three kids. It doesn't matter. No. No, it doesn't matter. No. 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 Oh, shh. Not true. I'm, I'm going to help you get from here to the end of your life. And, you know, someday people are going to build like a statue of you. And it's going to say, here, here lies the fittest, most toughest, fill in the name. And it's going to be all about how you were absolutely carrying it through for the rest of your life and doing everything you could to stay fit and stay healthy and, and live a great life. That's all I want you guys to do. All right. That's the end of my rant. It is Monday. You guys have a great day. I'm really excited because tonight I get to do another Body Beast Resistance workout. It's going to be shoulders and back. I like to do them back to back because those two muscle groups kind of interrelate for me. So don't give up. You have a question, you have a problem, you message me. If I can't answer your question or problem quickly, that means it might have gotten buried. You need to bump it up a bit. Or I'll post my phone number at the bottom of this message in our group. You can text me. If you do text me, just put your name. I get a lot of messages like, hey, coach. Hope you're having a great day. And I'm like, thank you. Who is this? So you get the idea. Peace out.